Hello, Powder Monkey here with my first ever tutorial. And this one's especially for Lion Den. I'm going to teach you how to use a physics joint. Right, what you want to do is get your object you want to rotate. Make sure it's all glued together. And then you want something to glue it to. It can be anything. It can be a, a dummy object if you like. But just make sure the physics is off on the thing you're gluing it to. And then the glue group itself has the physics on. Simples. Okay. Then we want to go under common physics tools and get an object, uh, sorry, a physics joint. Rotational hinge. Single axis. And then move it over to advanced. Select object one and object two. And then looking at that, I've just noticed that the uh, pivot point of the glue group isn't in the correct position. So what you want to do, select pivot, and make sure that's where you want the rotation to turn from. So in this case, the center of this tube. Sorted. Right, go back into our physics joint. Disable collision, just in case the two parts interact with each other. They shouldn't. Turn the joint strength all the way up to 50. And then we want to go into angular settings. In here, we've got angular motor. Go into here, enable it, and then set your target velocity and your max force to the same figure so that it's a constant speed. And this can be whatever you want it to be. Now, if we look at that, oh dear, it's going the wrong way. I thought that might happen because we haven't moved the axis of the joint itself yet. So what you want to do now Select the joint again, and then select pivot. Now you can see you get the same sort of tools as you do on any other object. Double click on the right stick to reset it, like so, and then you can rotate through the axes. Like so. Give it a quick test. This will probably spin the wrong way, which it does. So just select the pivot again. Rotate it 180 on the correct axis. And there you go, one spinning object. Hope this helps your line. Probably won't. And I'll probably never do another tutorial again, but thanks for watching.